Hello, 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 how are you? This is Els Kimmy from Bemis Crafty Corner. And today we're gonna do this. Um, this was a subscriber request and uh, multiple people asked for this one. And uh, it was the last request I got. <laughs> I actually had to reply and say, I'm already working on that one. Um, so this was a request. These, This is um, stacked envelopes and so I got probably five, six, seven requests for this one, and everybody sent me to a different video. And in every video I saw, there was a different way of doing this, but they all had one problem in common. And that was the ability to put it into a journal. Um, one video just put all of the uh, flaps on one side and then glued them under the page. So it was a big thick bulk and uh, another one was just, yeah, we'll wrap it around the signature and there were, there were a couple of different things and I said, you know, this is, there's got to be another way to do this and so I took out some envelopes and I kind of got, you know, I got a little busy and uh, started to work this out and I've come up with something don't know if it's exactly what you guys are looking for, but I did come up with something. So, I'm going to get the supplies out, and on this one, let's, let's you know, you're going to need ephemera, you're going to need glue, you're going to need probably some double-sided tape, definitely going to need trimmer, scissors, maybe a scoreboard, and some kind of paper. So, I made this one out of, you know, a couple of different digitals that I had. And um, I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. So I'm going to get everything out and I will be right back and we'll get started on this. Okay, right back. Okay, so in addition to all your normal tools, your glue, your tape, your scissors, all of that, um, you're going to want envelopes and you're going to want some paper. Now, again, I'm using some digitals here and uh, I have no idea whose digitals these are. It's a page from one and a page from another and a page from something else. The only thing they have in common is that they all have sunflowers on them. So um, quite a few different ones here. And so I'm going to be using that. And envelopes. And I have envelopes of different sizes and um, all kinds of goodies. And the first thing that you're going to do is go through and cut all of your envelopes, the flaps, down to about an inch. You don't need more than that. So go ahead and do that and then uh, trim up your paper, you know, and get that trimmed up and ready to go. And we'll be right back and we'll kind of get started putting this together, okay? So go cut some stuff and I'll be, and, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So... I have all my paper cut and all trimmed up and ready to go and I have all of my little ephemera pieces that go with the papers that I selected and then I have my envelopes okay and so I've watched quite a few of these and they all do it the same way they take these envelopes and they stack them up like this And then they pick the whole thing up and they glue all this together. And then they try and glue this under a page in the journal, which when this moves, that moves. Why are we reinventing the wheel here? That's what I thought. So let's not do this. This is my longest envelope, okay? 
and it is I cut it to eight inches and the reason I cut it to eight inches because most people do like an eight and a half or you know and their pages are like eight and a quarter so I figured eight inches is good enough for this now we've cut all of the flaps down so let's just build an envelope journal here okay so this was a like a catalog envelope and I just cut it down to about the same width as this envelope so this is going to be my base okay so now if I glue that in that's my base there it is okay page on one side page on the other all right now I can start adding envelopes to this so if I glue this down and this is a uh, the way this is cut let's do this this way I'm gonna take a little bit more off of this one just to, just just a shave because it's got to go inside the other one So my tops are both open. That way I can have top load pockets. Put this in. And glue it just like that. Okay? Once I have this glued and it's all set up, I can then start adding my envelopes. And all I'm going to do is add envelopes from side to side. Just as I would an envelope journal. Okay? to do an envelope journal book. So let's get this one glued down because this is our base. Let's see if I can get my glue open because I I filled it last night. It was a little over full. Okay, there we go. All right, so all I'm gonna do is put some glue on the back of this. Now I could use tape if I wanted to, you know, that makes it easier. You don't have to worry about that whole sliding around thing. So I'm going to line this up and I'm going to put my fold just a little bit outside and I'm going to line up my top and bottom. That is my base. Okay. So now all I have to do is kind of put my envelopes in and decide, you know, how I want this to look. Put one in one side, one in the other side. And then maybe do this one down here. Now, see, that's going to be an issue. Maybe. Not really. But if it is, all I'm going to do is just trim. Hold on. Let me show you. So this is where the envelope comes up. you know, that little piece. So I'm just gonna take it off. Well, okay. Bring it down so I can get it off of there. Okay. So, now I have my base. So I'm gonna put one envelope on this side. And then I'll put a different envelope on this side. like this one so we'll put it over here this will make sense in a second and then this little envelope put this one over here that's cute there this one over here and then this one is gonna go here I 
then I got this big one. Put the big one over here. And this little one down here. Okay, now watch. I have stacked envelopes. Can you believe it? And once I glue all these down, they are exactly where they need to be. And I have a pretty signature with my stacked envelopes. All right. So I'm going to start gluing these down. Okay. So you glue yours down, I'll glue mine down, and we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. All right? Okay, so let's take a look at the flaps. So here's our envelopes, and these were gonna be flaps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue on the flap part. And then we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna start to close this. We're gonna close it all the way over and then press that down. That way we don't get a bubble in our envelope. So, then we, see, we put this in and then we lift this up fold it over, and then press it down, okay? That keeps this envelope from bubbling. So then, once I have these done, I'm gonna give it just a little bit to dry. And then, I'm going to put in some I don't like this one. I don't like it at all. It's a little off, so I'm gonna redo it. So it was a little crooked, you know? It was a little funky. All right, so now I'm going to glue these down. On both sides. Okay, put my top back in the glue. So now I have created a top pocket. I can be a top, it can be a side, it can be whatever I want. Top side, whatever I want. Top side as I go through. So I'll create the pockets as I'm adding the paper. Okay, so my next step here is to put paper. Okay, so I'm going to put paper on here. Just like that, turn this over. And I'm gonna do, you know, that real technical measure thing where I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna put a mark on here. And then I'll cut this piece down. Alright, 
So now I'm going to ink. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to put some ink on the envelope because I don't want this stark white side hanging out. Okay, and I'm going to ink this end. Now I am going to be putting a pocket there. So... Kind of keep that in mind. All right. So we are now all inked up. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Now we have this all glued down and like I said I want to put a pocket uh, on the top here I could do it on the sides just you know to, it's up to me if I'm gonna do it on the sides then I'm gonna tape I'm gonna go ahead and glue this closed um, and then I'd have to open this edge so uh, just something to keep in mind now if I do a pocket up here it can go all the way to the bottom unless I do some kind of stitching or something here. So you have to keep that in mind as well, all right? I know there's so many things to think about. So I'm going to do a pocket up here. And because this is glued back here, you can only, you know, you only have so much room up to put the pocket in. So this pocket is going to be a little off center. Because you can't get all the way over. And then I'm just going to go ahead and ink that real quick. And then I need to put something inside of there. And let's see. Cut a slice of this and then just cut off you know a few inches and then I can ink this up and I can put it behind there so that uh, you know we don't see the white, white paper. ok 
okay? So, I'm going to open this pocket a little bit. Get some glue. My piece. And I want to put it right on the edge here. And then I'm just going to hold it for a couple of seconds because I don't want any loose glue to dry. Okay. See? Now you can't see it. And it looks nice. Alright. Then we'll just give it a little more ink straight across just to make it complete. And we'll move on to the next one. So again, all we're going to do is just line up our paper turn it over just like that we're gonna put a couple of lines on here one here one here one here down here right there we're just going to cut this off and cover this piece. So I'm going to do all of this and I'll be right back. Okay. So we are all covered in paper. Every piece. And, excuse me, and um, we're inked. And best part is the whole thing can be stitched in as an actual signature in your journal or a standalone piece you know it's entirely up to you but we're going to go ahead and get started uh, kind of working on this so let's take a look at what we have um, we have a giant top load pocket up here and this goes all the way to the bottom let's take a look i have this wooden piece here so it goes all the way to the bottom that's a that's a big tag so we're going to make a tag for that and um We've got a little side pocket over here. And then there is one, two, three pockets on this one here. And then we got a little pocket over here. A little double sided pocket there. We have a nice pocket here. Okay. And then on the other side, we have the other pocket. And then a nice pocket up here. And a nice big pocket here. We have a nice pocket here. Just a little one, you know, just a little one. And one up here that's not very deep. Okay? And that's everything as far as pockets. Now, I have all of the ephemera that came with the... Uh, the packs that I used and um, there's actually three packs that I used to, to put this together kind of hard to tell but there's three different packs here and so we are going to start kind of you know working our way through I've, I've already kind of built the first this is a little pocket that came and this is from a, a different pack but you know I like the way it works so it went together and I put a little brad in there a little eyelet so I can turn that into a tag and I've already cut the piece that's going to go in here. And that fits in there very nicely. So we're going to put that in there and uh, I'm going to cut a finger tab for it. And we're going to get it covered and get it put in. I've got what's left of the paper right here. And so we're going to use some of this to, you know, kind of do some covering on these so let's see so I'm just gonna you know use the measuring technique we've been using thus far and I'm just gonna draw some lines here and then cut on the lines 
and then glue it down. Because it seems to be working for us, you know? So, get that out of there. first one. I'm gonna, to make this expedient, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, tape roll. our trim up because we know that we're not great at cutting. Alright. So that's the first one. And then we'll go ahead and ink. Get this all inked up both sides. And then we'll put that we'll cut that tab and put that tab on there. You know what? I think I'm going to round the corners on this. Just because that makes it a little bit easier to go in and out of the pockets. Oops. There we go. Get those inked up. And on this side. And we need to cut some pull tab, pull, cut a pull tab for this. So let's do we'll do this one. And let's cut a whale tail. this folded and inked both sides okay so I'm going to glue this on Make sure I get it in the right spot. It's going to be right in the middle. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and tuck that in. Fantastic. And then we're going to just kind of move through the rest of this. And, you know, we have. Uh, Lots of little journal cards here and things that we can use and, you know, that can become pockets and whatnot. So we have a lot of stuff here to work with. I'm going to go ahead and get these things in and, you know, work a little bit on making some more tags and I'm going to back everything on my extra heavy card stock because right now it's just on 28 pound paper. Um, So, you know, that, that could be a pocket right there. 
it just needs a little love you know what i mean so i'm going to go ahead and get that all taken care of and we're going to start cutting down some uh, pockets and things you know that we can fit into these spots and we're going to get everything put together and i'll be back to show you you know what i come up with be right back okay so let's take a look at where we're at uh i have a lot of this done i'm kind of working the second half i've started putting in some tags and things um but i had this big blank spot right here and i wanted to cover it so i wanted to put a pocket on it so i wanted to talk to you guys real quick about how to make a pocket quickly to put on uh, a project and the one that i've done is this one right here so i'm going to put this one down and then we're going to talk about this one real quick um So let me get this glued because we're going to do this one more time in here so just wanted to kind of cover this area because it's like a blank and then i'm going to put uh you know like a tag of some kind in here i've got a couple tag pieces then that I can use so I'm gonna put a tag in there so <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same pocket here so what I want to do is quickly measure you know my area and according to this it's about four and a quarter so I know that I don't want to be more than like four inches wide here and I want some depth to this so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, building this and what I'm using to do this is a lightweight cardstock it's uh, 65 pound just regular recollections cardstock and I don't want to cover this part I really just kind of want to concentrate right here so I'm gonna take a look and that's like three and a quarter so I'm gonna do a three inch wide pocket here okay and then I'm going to be doing some um, some scoring on that so I'm going to add a half an inch on either side so I'm going to do a four inch pocket four inches across and then <clears throat> I have to kind of look at what I want for depth and I'm thinking like two inches so I'm going to do two and a half so I have my four inches here and then I'm gonna turn this and do two and a half here okay and then we're gonna do a little bit of scoring with this so we're at two and a half and we want this to be a two inch deep pocket so we're gonna do a half an inch at the bottom then we're going to turn it we're doing a half an inch here and a half an inch over here we just turn that around it makes it easier there we go see i was a whole quarter of an inch off and then i'm just going to wedge these corners just into the cut and just out in and out and then i'm going to go ahead and fold these and uh, burnish them and these are going to become the side pieces for my pocket so now i'm going to look at my book and see if this is what i want and you can see it fits right here it doesn't obstruct this flower let's take a look so it's going to fit right here in this spot okay it's not going to obstruct this flower and it's going to blend in so now i need to add some paper to this and i was thinking i have this b paper which I think is just cute. So I think I'm gonna use the B paper. And so I'm just gonna double check my measurements here. And it is three by two. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of this that's three by two. Okay. 
check and see if I have a piece already. Yep, I do. I have a piece right here. Uh, it's a scrap. So I'm going to use this. So we're going to cut this out at three. And then we'll cut it at two. And that going to fit right on there completely. Now normally I would leave a border, but because I have so many other colors going on here, it doesn't make any sense to leave a border on this one. So I'm just going to glue this on and completely cover the front of my piece. Make sure I got it going in the right direction here. Now, if this were deeper, I'd put a finger nip in it, but it's not deeper, so I don't really need that. But then I'm going to come to the back, and this is important. I'm going to do the sides down, a little bit of glue on the corner here, and then I'm going to put the bottom piece down. Now, why am I doing that? I am doing that so that this piece is not glued down and it doesn't obstruct my tag when I put it in. Okay? So, a little bit of glue. You can wedge these top pieces if you want, and then just put it right where you want it, and give it a second to adhere, and you have a nice pocket that's got some bulk to it, so that you could put more than one thing in here, you know, it's not just flat against the page. And the bees go with it, you know, they, they match, and they offer enough of a contrast that it stands out and says, hey, I'm a pocket, okay? so. We're going to keep working through here. I've got a few more pockets to do and a few more little tags. And then I'll be back to show you, you know, where we're at and how we finish this one off. I'll be right back. All right, so here it is. Uh, I used a little seam binding there to close it up. And we've got a giant tag here at the top. And then a little tag over here in our pocket. And then a nice big journaling card over here that's double-sided with a tab on it. And then there's a couple of tickets and a little t postcard tag here. And then that little envelope that we flipped over, we turned it into three pockets. So there's three tags here and then a little tuck spot here. And then this little one became a pocket and it's got a tag in it. And then got a little pocket here with the journaling card and we have one here and this one I put glitter on um, and then on the other side you have the other one and that's glittered as well and then you have a little tag in this pocket and a nice tag up here just a big tag to be able to write on and then just a little decoration and this I left alone because I thought it was just perfect the way it was and then there's a place here, you know, you could write. And then there's another journaling card here. And flip that over. And again, I just left this. And then you've got a little tuck here with a little postcard journaling card. And you ugh, come in here and look, I missed one. Uh, you've got another tag here. It's going to need a little piece of ribbon on that. We'll get that taken care of. And then I've got another little pocket with a postcard here. And then a couple of little postcards tucked in here and another little tag up here. And I glued this, you know, about here so that uh, the tag didn't slip down. So let's go ahead and take care of this and we will be done. Let's see what we got. What do we have that might work? Mm, let's see. Anything in here? We have a little piece of off white seam binding. This might work. So let's go ahead and angle that. We will fish it through.
this little tug. There we go. We'll go ahead and put that one in. Close this one back up. So that's the one that we made on camera. And this is one that I did off camera. Uh, this was like the prototype for this. So I have a little pocket up here in the front with some little journaling tags in it. And then a little teeny pocket over here with tiny little journaling tags and a little tag tag and of course none of these have lace or anything and then I have a nice tag here and a little pocket here with uh, some more pieces of ephemera in there and then there's a tag here turn this over there's a little tuck here and this had lines on it so I left it for writing and then there's another tag here a little piece of lace just some pretty detail a little lace here another tag here then another little pocket back here with a little journaling card and a little journaling card and a little tag and then this little envelope which I used my slot punch just to put a slot in here and then I could tuck that in to close it and then I have two pockets, one here and this one over here. And I just haven't, you know, I haven't put the pulls on these yet, but I, I'm going to. And then I got one here, you know, just a little pocket with a cute little detail on it. And uh, let me show you that little detail. So there's your detail. And, you know, it's a little tag and a little journaling card and then a couple little journaling cards and a little side tuck another little pocket over here with a little tag in it and then another one up at the top here that has a nice size tag in it Oop, there we go this one's a little snug it just needs to be worn up you know a little bit and then I just tied this all up with a, again another piece of uh, you know seam binding And I can stitch either one of these into a journal or, you know, as a standalone piece. Anyway, so as requested, there it is, my take on the stacked envelopes, um, either as its own unit or as a insert for a journal. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. Listen, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me like me ring my bell share me with all your friends and then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends and before you know it we have a giant crafting community i go live on wednesdays thursdays fridays and sundays at 10 a.m that's 11 12 and 1 across the country i post videos on mondays and wednesdays and i have two things going in 2022 the first is my 12 of 22 journal challenge that's hashtag 12 of 22 journal challenge and if you would like more information on that go ahead down to the description box below you'll see the hashtag there and right below that is a link that'll take you to a slideshow that will give you all the information that you need to participate in that and i'm doing my free classes of 12 of 22 uh, free classes of 22 and in my free classes the only way to get information on those is when you subscribe and you ring that bell make sure that you click all so you get the notifications because those classes come out on Saturday mornings and the afternoon that they air I go live that afternoon to talk about what we did in the class that day so that's it that's all I have for you until I see you again stay well bye bye